This is what the thieves are after. Some even calling the metal inside of them a hot commodity worth more than gold. Search of the vehicle yielded 12 catalytic converters in the trunk of the car. They also found a saw inside the vehicle that had been used to cut off the catalytic converters. Sharp eyed witnesses called police to these apartments after seeing what they thought were car break ins. As it turns out, the people they were watching were cutting catalytic converters off of automobiles. A trend we've seen time and time again. It'll go two or three, four weeks without any problems, and then all of a sudden we'll have six or seven of them that we have to replace. The theft of them continues to be a problem, not only in Oklahoma City, but nationwide. They cut them off, they take them to the metal recyclers, who in turn give them cash for them. I called around to 10 different scrap metal yards across the metro today. Seven of them say they don't accept the converters because of the high theft rate. The other three say you must have certain proof and identification. When we take them over there, they ask for documentation like a copy of the repair order and uh, identification to you know know that they're buying them from a legitimate source. So what if you think one of those converters found this week came off of your car? Police say it's possible to connect car parts to their original owners, but you have to think ahead. You, you can etch a VIN number onto it or a social security number onto it to make it easier for us to trace back to its original owner. In Oklahoma City, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.